Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Call Fishing. We're heading back to Lake Wenatchee today for some more sockeye fishing in this episode. Had a blast last time and pretty solid success, so I wanted to come out again while the season is still open. Started driving today at around 2 a.m., hoping to get there at around 5 a.m. and get a good parking spot and be on the water before sunrise. Okay guys, so when there's about a mile left, the roads become unpaved. So remember to take your time. I guess 1.4 miles till the uh, campground. Uh, conditions nice and bumpy, but uh, doable. Say if you're in a sedan, definitely take caution. Current temperature is 57 degrees out here. Supposed to go into the 90s today out here. So temperature should pick up pretty quick once the sun comes out. So we're gonna wanna be uh, hopefully off the lake by then. Okay, Hidden Lake Trail is up there and that's where we wanna park, I guess, later. So hopefully that's not the case. And we can park down here, but we'll see. Okay, we're here. Let's unload real quick so we can go park the car. All right, mosquito repellents, let's get that ready. All right, cars are pulling in. I'm all set up, daylight's about to break. This is the campground. Okay, remember this is a $5 fee for a daytime. All right, we're ready to go. Let's get out there, quick limit. Let's go home. Mosquitoes are out in force already. My goodness. Look at all this action on the fish finder. Looking like a lot of stuff down at the 20, 30 feet. All right, so why don't we go ahead and get started? Both routes are deployed. All right, sun is starting to come out. Let's see, it's about 5 30 right now. Got both routes deployed. This one on the dropper rig, this one on the down rigger. I have it about, about 30 feet deep right now. It might go a little bit deeper. Let's see if we can't get any luck. Quick limit, baby. Come on. Let's go. Okay, so this is my uh, Hobie setup configurations. I have one of the Hobie uh, slit three-way thing just mounted onto uh, one of the, a Hobie rail. Got my two rods on there, pointing the opposite directions on one side, with the uh, down rigger on the other side.
What a beautiful day. Been ready to head back home. That was a tough day. Dude, a nice sunny day. Temperature is 61 degrees and not bad at all. All right guys, only got one fish today after spending about three to four hours trolling around the lake. Call it a day and head home before the temperature hit the upper 90s. Great day of fishing overall, but the action has definitely slowed down significantly since the opener. The lesson learned here is go as early in the season as you can. Or maybe I just had a really bad luck day. Talked to a couple other guys on the water and it seems like it was pretty slow for everybody. But there was this one boat that was hauling them in. Using the same gears pretty much as everyone else. And that's how it goes sometimes. But it's all good. Still great to be out in the water. Even one fish that's still plenty for a great meal. Today I'll show you guys one of my favorite dish to make with salmon. Salmon spring roll. This is a nice simple dish that's pretty easy to make and delicious. And it incorporates a lot of greens and veggies into the meals. So two for one, good and healthy. Here are the ingredients for this dish. I'll list them below and you guys can check them out. First thing what we wanna do is we're gonna go ahead and fillet this fish. Once you got your two fillet, uh, go ahead and set them on a baking tray. All right, this is the final product. Two nice fillet, let's go. All right, so the next step is to go ahead and apply a generous amount of mayonnaise on both the filet. You can play around with the amount you like, but after you're done applying the mayonnaise, go ahead and grab a spoon and just splatter it around to get a full coverage. Next step is to preheat your oven to 400. Then while you're waiting, chop up your veggies, your lemons, onions, and green onions. Then go ahead and put the lemons and onions on top of the filet. Alright, and that's pretty much all you have to do to prep the fish. Next step is go ahead and put it in the oven and let it sit there for about 15-20 minutes depending on the size of your filet. While we're waiting for the fish to bake, we're going to make some garnish for the fish. One simple one is just fried green onions. All you have to do is heat up some vegetable oils or any oil of your choice. Once the oil is hot, throw in the chopped green onions and fry them for about 5 minutes and they should be ready to go. Next we're going to prep some vermicelli noodles. I'm just using an instant one at the store. All you need to do is put them in some boiling water for about 30 seconds and they'll be ready to go. All right, so after about 20 minutes, uh, take the fish out, garnish it with the fried green onions and some peanuts, and it's ready to go. Straight to the spring roll rolling stations. You can either do this as you eat, or in my case, I just do it all up front. Bring all your ingredients for the roll to the table, your rice paper, your favorite veggies. I have lettuce, cucumbers, and cilantro, but you can use whatever you like. It's all about that fusion of flavors. If you don't know how to roll spring rolls, the key is just to not overfill it. Make sure your rice paper is not too wet either, or they may break easier. I put in the veggies and noodle first, then add in the fish, then it's ready to be rolled up. I roll them up about halfway, then fold in the sides, and then complete the rolls. That's all there is to it. You can then dip them in your favorite sauce. Fish sauce, hoisin sauce, or peanut sauce. And you got yourself a great meal. Can't beat fresh fish, especially the ones that you got. All right, cheers everyone. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thank you for watching and until next time.